Hey everyone, we are back with Sekiro. Um, as we look out in the into the uh, beautiful sunset, it's time to get going here. After the Gyobu Oniva uh, boss fight, yeah, let's play some more Sekiro. Um, I've been like excited to jump back into this game, jump back or well, yeah, play more of this game. Basically, just play more of this game. Um, I might be a little bit muted here today than normal, more muted. The reason is I went to a restaurant today. There's a Thai restaurant in the city, which is like godlike, uh, pretty much godlike Thai food. And I ate a shit ton. So I'm still kind of half comatose uh, from... Oh yeah, there's one of these guys here. My face cam is like... Okay, give me a sec. Okay, that's more like it. Let's actually be centered. Um, What was I saying? Oh yeah, Thai food. Um, So yeah, I had a godlike lunch. I should buy one of these. It's always good to have one. Um, coin purses. Oh, hell yeah. Get the gourd seed, and I think that's about it. That's about it. So yeah, because of that, um, and my food coma, I'm probably gonna be a little bit more muted here. Okay, this NPC, he gives you some scroll. This guy is a badass, if I remember correctly. It's a sick katana too. See, now we're friends. So yeah, this is Tengu of Ashina. He basically has like an assassination side quest. Mm, which is pretty, like, you can do it and you can get, like, rewards and everything. Because this guy doesn't fuck around. Of course we're gonna hunt rats with him. He has some really useful shit actually. He gives you the Ashina like ability tree. And the only thing this is the only thing that you kinda had to figure out uh where they are. Uh this one I know where he is, so it should be easy. So yeah, that's that quest line, um, and also a shortcut. Shortcuts are again. This is um, like many of the la later Souls games. Shortcuts are a little bit less kind of relevant in this game, due to the fact that you can just teleport everywhere. And I think if we go up here, right, you know, at the top there is some treasure. A treasure chest, in fact, which are pretty rare in this game. Some nice shit in it. It's a prayer bead. I didn't know that's what it was, but I will. Oh fuck! Take that. Okay, let's have a quick look at our little ability tech tree. Acquire skills. Let's see. There's something I wanted to get more difficult to detect i think that's pretty useful too yeah and then once we're done with some of these i need to start saving up because um like again some of the later ones you can get abilities are actually really useful okay so we're, what we're gonna do quickly is just deposit our gourd seed don't think of it like that 
she's gonna have a bunch of dialogue again. So here is the thing to give you the five second sketch head summary. The more we die, the more of a disease carrying plague rat we become, um, causing others to be infected with stagnation, which is why I bought that dragon droplet. We also have the ability now to upgrade our prosthetics. So yeah, now we can upgrade the prosthetic tool, which is actually very useful. Uh, you need like, this is the sort of tech tree of the game. So uh, it's something pretty good. I don't have too many of the materials. I could get this, which is the spring-loaded firecracker. Um, it's a little bit less useful. The spinning shuriken, though, is mad good. So that's something we're going to be going for 100, 100%. Okay, I have nothing to fit either. Cool, just checking. Okay, so we're going to continue here a little bit uh, because what I want to do is do that hunting side quest. That is that's not what I that's what not what I meant to do. Okay, I think there's like no beating around the bush here. Cuz this guy's straight up in front of you. So ain't much you can do. Those are the motherfuckers we want. Those little potato looking motherfuckers. They gave you a little slight, slight, eh, whatever, hint as to something. And see, the thing is, these guys are normally actually kind of annoying. By normally, I mean all the time. The thing is, though, if you have the axe. See, because your shit just like bounces off. Did I just get poisoned? Hold on. Why isn't there hat breaking? There we go. That's what I wanted. There you go. That's more like it. So I'm poisoned, which is not good. Luckily, this is kind of all I wanted to do here, so I can go straight back to the bonfire. No problemo. But what I was just trying to say is those guys are fairly annoying if you don't have the, the loaded axe. So definitely go to Hirata first. Which you should do, anyways. See, this guy's gonna be happy now. Why is everyone like so much taller than us? Short king, you know. That's Sekiro. This is the one, the Ashina esoteric text. That's pretty good. I think we have to wait for a little bit until he gives you the next quest. I don't remember. Well, let's talk to him anyways. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, we have to wait a little bit. Okay, so I've come back to Hirata Estates. Uh, and there is a reason for it. 
The reason is that I feel like just with the progression of the game and how kind of enemy scale in terms of difficulty, this is the kind of area you should be going to. Uh, in the Ashina Castle, there's a boss. A pretty unique boss. One that can be like sort of annoying. Um, talking about the bull, no spoilers. So we have the bull, which mm, I'd rather fight this guy. The fat samurai. That one is actually a boss fight, you know. Whereas the bull is just kind of, I don't know, more like a puzzle. Don't notice me. This is the one time you don't want to be noticed by Senpai in this game. But really, oh shit! Come on Sekiro, what an asshole. I was gonna say that these guys are so clumped up together that it's gonna happen either way that you'll get spotted. That's not what I meant to do, but did it work? It sort of did work. Okay, that's not good. I'm getting shot with fire arrows. In fact, I kind of got owned there. But... See, I was gonna say, but that's alright. But then it's really not alright. Because there's a boss fight here. Yeah, I'm playing like a dickhead too. Don't don't hug the wall. There's someone else here. I'm just playing the enemy music. I don't see anybody. Oh, there you are. Was there? Did I just get shot by an arrow? It sort of felt like I almost got shot by an arrow. Strange. Oh, there you are. You were right behind me. Yeah, bad times for you. Can't believe I couldn't find that guy. And here's the deal. We can recruit a little homeboy here. Uh, but this dude is useless AF. So I'm just thinking maybe we just sneak in. Well, it's not like he's useless AF, it's just he very rarely survives. So I'm just like, you know, being careful here. Not that he needs to survive, but you know. Oh shit. And the enemy placements here. Luckily. Because everybody's blind as a bat here, they're not actually gonna notice anything. Okay, so you have to be. fairly sneaky here. Because there's a big ass dude here. In fact, this is kind of a scramble at the start here. Just kind of kill, kill the bandits really quickly, especially the ones with arrows. You gotta fight Jozu. Jozu, that's his name. And not have shit like that happen, because that's really bad. Yeah, okay, I'm getting gold. 
Thank fuck for invincibility. Oh shit. We're gonna resurrect here, but this is bad. Um, to say that this is going badly would be the understatement of the century. Shit. Okay, you're meant to jump that. And I'm very much dead. Cool. Oh shit, this is happening. Oh, come on. Yeah. We're getting the stagnation. Fuck, I feel like I haven't even died that many times. This sucks, because we gotta waste resources. This just really, I if I remember correctly with this mechanic, like the key, yeah. It reduces your chance of um, receiving unseen aid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which sucks. However, there is a fix for it. We just gotta talk to Emma. So yeah, she's gonna look through her mentor's research. We just gotta chill there for a little bit. Um, it's not a big deal, since the item that cures it is pretty rare. Um, it's worth like clearing a difficult boss, even if you get it, you know, you should just like stick to the boss, kill it, and then use it, because uh, otherwise if you just constantly heal it, it just becomes an endless, you know, you're not going to have enough of the items, uh, which is that dragon drop or whatever, dragon drop, <laughs> yeah, alright, back to Jozu we go, I think it might actually be fully possible to, yeah, skip all these enemies, which is good. Uh, there's the NPC guy. It's worth actually, one of the tricks you can do is you can... Oh shit, you can get up here. I didn't know, wow, this is really cool. Yeah, there is a dude. One of the tactics actually is to... Um, it's kind of a cheating thing. You can run to him during Jozu's second phase and then elicit his help. Just like tapping through his dialogue like crazy. Uh, that's actually a fairly, a fairly good tactic. This is the most important thing is not to take too much damage here. I might just elicit our friend's help like that. You know, this is not the most difficult boss in the game. He's gotta be super aggressive here. Fuck for that invincibility. 
Oh, that was almost a Mikiri. But an almost Mikiri is no Mikiri at all, is it? Oh, did he just kill his own dude? What an asshole. And I swear there's one, one more axe guy. There he is. He's just well hidden. Quickly. Oh, thank fuck for that. Okay. Next thing. Ongo Sugar. This reduces the block stun you take. Man, for a big boy, this guy is sure as, sure as hell fast. No, not the loaded axe, bitch. He doesn't have any stabs though. Fuck. Are you kidding me? Cool. That should give me back. Yep. My thingy. Use a pellet. You see that one hit? What am I even doing? I'm trying to find my gourd. Yeah, the most difficult thing about this guy is his slashes. The fact that he is... Yeah, I think that was his slash. Fuck. Still going. Should I do it? There we go. And that's how you recruit NPCs in this game. And that's how you beat Jozu. Cool. It's all it took. Easy as hell. Thank you, dude, whose name I didn't catch because I skipped your cutscene. This guy is awesome, though. He, he has a cool haircut. He's got that fresh fade. Yeah, again, nothing happens if he doesn't survive. It's just, you know, it's just a thing. So that was Jozu. There's only two more of him in the game, but one is optional. And here's a dude. Oh no, this is a woman. Oh, this is the lady. The lady with dementia we meet we meet later blah, 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 blah. can't even talk. We meet later. Inosuke, that's the homie. So yeah, these two are prepared to cry material for sure. Oh, don't hug the wall. Activate the statue. Which I'm definitely gonna do because I'm gonna do something really dirty and cock block you guys from the second boss fight. Because this is where the second boss fight of the game is because it's actually really hard. And I want to get a little bit stronger. At least get one more HP upgrade before we go there. And now we have a little cutscene here. Not cutscene, but you know, more dialogue. Anata desu ka? Ryugai no shirabe no tame. 
武士殿が吐いた血の塊をいただいていたのです有害にかかったものがいれば当たってみようお願いします So we have our little quest line but this is pretty important、uh, because we need to fix this thing because unseen aid is <coughs> pretty good、uh, you want unseen aid you don't want your chances to be reduced but let's get a dope Ichimanji skill、um, just in the meantime and of course the place to go is right here because she's the other NPC that's afflicted if I can like shit I was trying to be really graceful there. Didn't work out. Kind of feel sorry for her, honestly. She got done dirty by multiple kind of afflictions. She's not dying, is she? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. I was worried she was gonna die because I don't remember this dialogue. I was like, damn, I got her killed. Okay, and let's give her the sample. You have a lot of time here, so it doesn't doesn't like、uh, really do anything bad, except for the unseen aid stuff. Of course, it's a little convenient that something her master wasn't ever able to fix, she fixes in like. Three checkpoints. Because she is the homie. Alright, and with that, I think we need to wrap up, or we can wrap up another episode of Sekiro.、Uh, I feel like we made good progress here.、Mm, Sora. Sora.、Uh, we made it through a mini boss, and we reached the second boss, and we have another mini boss. So, bosses and mini bosses all around us.、Um, Plus, we gotta fix this dragon rod stuff. Yeah, I think you just need to rest and it will advance time enough,、uh, which I will do.、But、for now, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Sekiro. If you did, as always, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications if you wanna stay up to date on my content. Take care, everyone. Peace out and goodbye.